Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today's Monday, October 25th, 2021. And we begin with a gaggle of dads now patrolling the hallways of Southwood High School in Shreveport, Louisiana. According to CBS News, the decision to join their kids on campus came after several days of not-so-great behavior by students. Michael Lafitte was the first fed-up father. He launched Dads on Duty and recruited 40 others to sign up and take shifts. The men greet the students in the morning, spread cheer, and generally help keep the peace. Students say it's working. You ever heard of a look? One student asked a reporter. That's the power all fathers seem to have. Throw in a few dad jokes and student life is apparently good again. In fact, there hasn't been a single incident on campus since the group started. The fathers say they intend to keep showing up and would like to start chapters throughout Louisiana and perhaps elsewhere in the country. The Sunshine State is swapping out some of its signature palm trees to help fight global warming. West Palm Beach and Miami, Florida will slowly replace the famous beachy fronds with native trees such as mahogany, pines, and oaks, which not only provide better shade, but also absorb more heat-creating carbon from the atmosphere. According to the U.S. Forest Service, one thatch palm absorbs less than five pounds of carbon dioxide a year, while a mature live oak can funnel up to 487 pounds right into the ground. To put that in perspective, the average car produces 10,000 pounds of CO2 a year. Miami's tree swap will be gradual, but it hopes by 2050, climate-friendly plants will make up 75% of the city's public trees. The World Series matchup is set. It'll be the Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros with the first pitch at 8.09 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night in Houston. The storylines to watch, the Astros being painted by everyone outside of their home city as major league villains for the team's sign-stealing cheating scandal in 2017. On the other side of the equation, the Braves, who have so far kept their controversial name and are making their first fall classic appearance since 1999. The star of their roster, the Pearls, worn by outfielder Jock Peterson. He rocked them through the postseason and is expected to do so for the next seven games. And no matter the series' outcome, one family will get a ring. Brian Snicker is Atlanta's manager, and his son Troy is a hitting coach for Houston. How many actual strawberries are in strawberry Pop-Tarts? According to a new lawsuit, not enough. Pop-Tarts are made by Kellogg's, and the company is accused of misleading Pop-Tart lovers with a big switcheroo namely loading up the filling with pears and apples, then using a red dye to make it look more like strawberry. The suit asked Kellogg's to provide more accurate labeling and seeks over $5 million for false advertising. Kellogg's is not commenting. While some humans get Pfizer, Moderna, or Johnson & Johnson to try and protect themselves against COVID, animals from coast to coast are getting the critter version, Zotus. Last week, the Cincinnati Zoo announced that its staff has been busy immunizing big cats, apes, giraffes, red pandas, skunks, goats, and otters. So far, 80 animals are fully vaccinated against both COVID and the seasonal flu. The rest will receive their second dose this week. The vet techs were worried the animals wouldn't like getting two rounds of shots, but they're all reportedly taking it like champs in the shoulder or thigh. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News Quiz. Who's patrolling the hallways of a Louisiana high school? A group of 40 dads. What state is trading some of its palm trees for pines and oaks to help fight global warming? Florida. What two teams are playing in this year's World Series? Atlanta Braves and Houston Astros. Why are strawberry Pop-Tarts in the news? Maker Kellogg's is getting sued for allegedly not putting enough strawberries in its strawberry filling. In today's Kid News Kicker, after a rough year for tourism, a small town in Australia put together a cheeky campaign to woo Thor actor and overall A-lister Chris Hemsworth to its doorstep. 
In the TV ad, hashtag get Chris to Kaura, locals dressed up like the god of thunder, show off Kaura's landmarks, and even hammer out the details for a four-story statue of the Aussie actor. The message made it to Mr. Hemsworth himself, and he shared the video on Instagram, writing, Big love to all the folks in Kaura, warmed my heart, and made me smile. He went on to say he's filming a movie right now, but upon return next year, I'm coming in hot. The local tourism manager is good with the wait. He says it'll give Kaura time to dust off the good china and give the town a bit of a once-over to make sure it's Chris-worthy. Before we go, it's time to shout out our Kid News teachers and their classrooms, starting with Jessica Schwab and her Agam class at the Heschel School in New York City, New York. Mrs. Kaminsky-Scott, who would like to say, way to stay current, room 12, at Westgate in Edmonds, Washington. Mrs. Iserhart and her dynamic dolphins at Stiles Point in Charleston, South Carolina. Mrs. Galt at Ari Thompson Intermediate in Tuscumbia, Alabama. And Mrs. Greenberg at William A. Carter in Middletown, New York. Thanks for listening. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.